Hey everybody, so I'm going to make a couple of videos on 6-3 homework. So, suppose we're testing uh, two means using a two-sided test and get a p-value of 0 0.03. We also construct a 95% confidence interval from the same data. We would expect 0 to not be in the confidence interval. Okay, now let me explain why. So here's my sketch. When your p-value is 0.03, and that's my dog's toy, well, what's happening here is you're taking your test statistic and you put it on both sides because it's a two-tailed test. And the p-value gets split. So over here is 0.015, and, and, and that's the area there. And over here is 0.015. Now, the 95% confidence interval, it's either going to be set up at this um test statistic or it's set up on this test statistic, one or the other. And it doesn't really matter for this explanation. Uh, so you're going to realize that if it's the 95% confidence interval, half of it is from the test statistic over. And half of that is 47.5%. Let me put in my percent there. Which means, as a decimal, it's 0.475. And I need to add on the 0 0.015, so I end up with an area of 0 0.490. Now, the area of 0 0.490, sorry folks, is about here. This is an area of 0 0.490. It's just a hand sketch and it's an approximation, but it's not going to be larger or past the middle because from negative infinity to zero is 0 0.50. So, it does not uh, contain the center of zero. Next, number two. It says, a two-sample t-test gives more valid p-values with. So first of all, if your original population is symmetric, and then the larger the sample size is, the better the p-value is going to be. All right, so I'm going to stop there, and I'll make the next ones in a minute.